Hey there, viewers, and welcome back to the Self Made Auto Channel. Got that out of the way. Hopefully, you can hear me. I moved my camera over to my other computer and my other shop because my other bays are full of broke down junk. Um, so, I want to start this out as it is our habit to do with the mail call, uh, which we've done on our previous. SMA Chit Chat, Wednesday Night Live, whatever you want to call it, What's Up Wednesday. But first, I want to wait. Um, I want to see, make sure the audio and everything sounds good. My furnace is on. I'm not going to freeze my butt off in here, so give me some feedback. I'll wait the 30-second lag that you guys have. Let it uh, get all popped up there before we continue. When I get some yays or nays, and if I get some nays, I don't know how to fix it, so deal with it. And then we'll get started. I got one looking good from Matt Taylor, who just walked out my door. Good, good, sounds good. Good, good, good. Got some goods. Looking good. That's from Solid, all the way over in the UK. All right. Happy, happy. So we'll start out with mail call. Got some mail call. I uh, have some, some disappointing news for the mail call, unfortunately. Our first, oh, didn't want to show the dude's address. Oh, you couldn't read it. It was my address. I received a license plate from Alabama from a viewer because he knows we collect license plates. I got a bazillion of them in the office. I actually got one from Australia, which is awesome, and in Alaska. Super rare. And we have a letter here, so we'll go through these. This comes from a guy that goes by the name of Dr. Skip. Uh, a big Oregon hello to you, the missus, and the family. So he's from Oregon, but he must have seen this car at the 7-Eleven and got me the plate. So good for you, Mr. Skip. Uh, I've been watching your channel for a few weeks. Now I learned some good things about automotive repair. I've been self-diagnosing noises and such based on your video. I've got an 06 Corolla CE 5-speed. As a result, I have saved a small bucket of greenbacks by not spending them on unneeded repairs. Thank you. The need for people to watch or the need for people to keep up with periodic and routine maintenance on your vehicle is critical to their long life, continued safe performance. As writer and retired marine biologist, I thought that wordsmithing this concept might help people to take care of their vehicles. How does nothing happens auto automatically so there's some wordsmithing automatically sound to you uh, before moving to Oregon five years ago I had a show about marine biology on local cable TV for a couple years and since put three episodes on YouTube EcoBytes and on my blog drskiponline.com I've included an expired Alabama license plate for your shop wall and collection all the best to you keep up the good work Dr. Skip Think global, act local. Signed, Skip. Appreciate the plate, Skip, the letter, the kind words and encouragement, the handiwork with the wordsmithing. Everybody's all good up in here. Nobody, no fights breaking out. Uh, everything looks good. 680 folks joining us. We'll move on to the next one. Uh, I got a little package here from Rusty B, we'll call him. You can tell he's a mechanic because he's stuffed it full of what appears to be Harbor Freight catalog. We got a letter in here, so I'm going to set this stuff down on the floor for right now. Bear with me. And he writes, Hello, Mr. and Mrs. O. My name is Rusty B. B is for his last name, just so we're on the same page. I'm writing to tell you about all the videos. I see I'm writing to you. I'm writing to you about all the videos you have shared on YouTube. I honestly want to thank you. There are a couple I wish I would have seen before I spent a lot of money to the dealership when I could have seen or when get my eyes focused here. Uh, there are a couple I wish I would have seen before I spent a lot of money to the, to the dealership when I could have seen just by watching the video you shared like one. Oh, like, oh, okay, one, like the timing belt and the door rollers for the Honda Odyssey. 
I also watched a video of you fixing a motorized school scooter for a Vietnam vet and how you appreciate vets, which is why I'm writing to you today. And I hope you do not mind me doing so. So a huge thank you. Of course, I don't mind. I don't mind letters. I actually enjoy getting letters in the mail. Uh, not a lot of people write letters nowadays. Uh, so a huge thank you. I actually got my wife to watch some of your videos. Must be a heck of a nice lady then to suffer through that. Uh, specifically how you include your wife and beautiful family and how awesome you uh, can work and still contend on being a father. Brilliant. Well, I'm not the best dad in the world, I'll tell you that, but I try. A little about myself. I live in a small town named Davis Junction, Illinois. Not Illinois, as we've learned in our last one. Married, three grown sons, but I have a nine-year-old daughter, Sophia. I'm a police officer for a career, but on the weekend, I'm a mechanic, but I work on airplanes. Wow. Uh, I hold an airframe and power plant rating with an IA, so inspection authorization. IA is basically the FF, FAA, lets me sign the log books, airframe, engines, and propellers. Oh, wow. So that's, that's a pretty uh, bit of responsibility, I'm assuming. Where a regular A and P mechanic cannot sign the log books. So basically, if something happens on an airplane like a crash, I'm, at, I'm the man in front <laughs> while the Fed's explaining what and why I did and uh, what I did to fix the plane. So that's a ton of responsibility. I wouldn't want to be that guy because uh, you're basically signing off on everybody else's work. Uh, it's a long process, really, but well worth it. I'm also a 20 year retired U.S. Army veteran with four combat tours in Somalia. Uh, Haiti and Iraq. Um, this is basically a letter reaching out to say thank you. And I've also included a few things for you I inquired while in service. The two that look the same are my unit crest as I was in aviation and the second one is a coin or we call it a challenge coin. I would like for you to have them for my appreciation for what you do and thank you very much for reading my letter. He wrote ready my letter but reading my letter I assume he meant and then he signed it, Rusty B. Well, that was very nice of him. And these, what did he explain these as? Uh, his unit crests, as he was in aviation. So these are two pins uh, that he had set there. So you guys can check those out. Hopefully that'll focus there, there we go. So that's pretty sweet. And then what they refer to as a challenge coin, the 404, 404th Chemical Brigade, Illinois Army National Guard. Commander Sergeant Major, coin of excellence. So that's pretty sweet uh, that he would give these to me. Uh, I really appreciate that. And, uh, you know, as he mentioned, you know, about fixing Vinny's motorized scooter. So Vinny, you know, he's a local guy that scoots around here on his little uh, little scooter. Uh, you know, he's a, a U.S. Army veteran also. Um, but uh, I do have, you know, a spot in my heart for, for folks that are uh, in the military or, or did serve in the United States military. Um, you know, I do, I myself did not serve in the military. Uh, my brother is a veteran. Uh, you know, he served, uh, you know, several years in U.S. Army, uh, stationed over in Germany for, for quite some time. Uh, I have some friends that are in the, in the military, whether it's, uh, uh, you know, the you know, Navy, Air Force, Army, Marines. Uh, so I know a lot of folks there. Uh, Vanessa's cousin so her first cousin so my wife's first cousin um um you have to give me a minute <laughs> so he uh died in iraq so anyhow uh, moving on, we do, we did get this. We'll go on to, uh, I'll let you know. So anyhow, respect your veterans, I guess we'll get at. Uh, we have gotten three package loads here. I just got to see. I think I think my special guest texted me. I got to make sure. Oh, which bay? You guys will have to bear with me for a minute. Bay, walk in. Okay, just had to take care of that. Um, 
I will get back to your question there, John. I appreciate that super chat. I will save that right there so I don't I don't lose it. I will get back to your question. Uh, so on with our discussion here, or our mail call. Um, sorry about that, guys. I got all jumbled up here. <laughs> I peed a little when he showed up. I'm not going to lie. Three boxes. That's what I'm talking about. Unfortunately, they come from California. And no disrespect to the folks who sent them because I super duper appreciate this. Like, you won't believe how much I appreciate this. But they are so rock hard and stale. I'm afraid Sheba and Chloe are going to get the majority of these. Now, I did try nuking one in the microwave to try to bring it back to life a little. Um, and I couldn't breathe any life back into it. Did I eat it? Absolutely. But I, I really do appreciate these. So I got three dozen Krispy Kreme up in this joint. But they're so stale, they're not edible. But I do appreciate it. But please, if anybody is going to send Krispy Kreme donuts, please, please don't. Because obviously the mail order portion of it, they got something a little chebacled and it's just not working. But I do appreciate it. I do thank you guys. Hey there, young lady. Our special guest has arrived. I'm a special guest. You are a special guest. You gotta tease them. It's the only way I can get views. What do you got? Your sub. Oh, sweet. She brought dinner. And whatever yeah. chips you want. Thank you. I got a choice. Uh, I don't. I'm sorry to eat in front of you guys. I know one guy got really pissed off last week, but you're gonna have to excuse me. Yeah, I know we have Krispy Kreme in New York, but thank you. Coke. I'll go with the Doritos. Oh, and I got a Coke. Awesome. Subway. But I forgot what not, you liked on your sub. Not a sponsor. Anything. So you got to come over so the people can see it. So, folks, Miss Hannah has come in as a special guest Wednesday night chit chat. And it's kind of brought me a sub, possibly as a bride, because I actually have to fix her car here uh, while we're on the Wednesday night chit chat. I told her I would fix her car tonight. So, we're going to do that. Um, we'll continue on real quick here. Before we get busy uh, doing some car repair with our mail call, I did have a local viewer stop in, brought me a whole bunch of goodies, some macadamia clusters covered in chocolate, three of these, all different kinds. And he was sick of hearing me whine about losing my knife. So he got me another knife that is flip action. It's a craftsman. They're not a sponsor. But he brought what I got. Oh, did you find it? I knew where it was. I oh. just kept forgetting it. So Hannah, I bought this one for Hannah. It matched mine a while ago. Until you lost it. Until I lost it. But the good news is I found it. You found it? Yep. It was in my truck. And I've been driving my car and it fell down in underneath the cup holder. But being that my viewer brought this one and my old one was getting pretty dangerous because it didn't really lock anymore. We're going to stick with the, with the old craftsman here and wear that out. So I appreciate that. Like I said, he's a local, local Vokian. Mr. Chris brought them to me, and I think he brought some Coke that day too, didn't he? Brought me a Coke. That's okay. all. That's I don't think so. No, I can't remember. And then another viewer, an una, unidentified viewer, they don't have his name's not on here, sent me some business cards from Vista Print that he apparently has designed, he or she has designed themselves. Let's see. All right, Rick, I will get back to that question here in just a minute. But he made me some some business cards. He's got he's got my picture on it. Let's, let's see. Let's hope that focuses. You know, focus, little guy. Uh, I was not gonna focus, but he put my head on top of the guy working under the car, and he's got a picture of Sheba and Chloe and Vanessa in the little car. <laughs> so, yeah, pretty cool. And a little map on the back in case you want to find me. Uh, before I forget, I gotta get this one. You guys asked a couple questions. Um, John, he wrote, serious question, which firearms do you teach your kids on? So uh, as far as going out and, and target shooting and stuff with my kids, uh, we have, uh, of course, we preach, you know, gun safety in our home and, uh, you know, safe gun practice handling. I know this isn't automotive related, but, you know, we really, you know, we pride in our kids, you know, every time, you know, we go through gun safety, you know, we pick up the gun. You know, is it loaded? You know, muzzle control. I don't care if it's empty or not. Even if you know it's empty, you know, muzzle control, 
keep your finger out of the, out of the trigger guard, uh, you know, only pointing that way you intend to shoot. So to answer your question, we have a Savage single shot, uh, bolt action youth model uh, in 22 caliber. So they shoot that. Uh, I like the single shot because once the gun is fired, then it's safe, uh, you know, technically. So if there is a little, you know, mishap or, uh, you know, bad practice, you know, they move it, whatever, the gun's safe. Uh, so we use that. Uh, when I shoot my older boy, um, he shoots my M&P 22, uh, you know, handgun. Um, we have a, a youth model 870 and 20 gauge uh, that gets used. Um, and I think that's it. Those, those are the only three that, that we work on uh, with the kids. So if that answers some questions, but uh, set those down there. Thank you. And then let's see, we had one other question here. How about an update on Astro tools such as the Astro Nano? Also, I see you've gone away from using muscle grease now and using fluid film. So the Astro Nano is fantastic. I mean, they still work great. I actually have an Astro Nano in half inch drive that is a little bit longer, has more power than the real stubby Nano. Uh, I do use that. Of course, I've been using a lot of cordless tools. Um, and then in regards to switching from muscle grease to fluid film, it's simply because I don't have a castle distributor anymore, or at least he doesn't stop in anymore. I think he wanted really high volume sales. And of course, you know, if I bought a case of muscle grease, I just, you know, I would have it and I wouldn't need any for a few more months. So I think he got sick of not getting sales and perhaps moved on. So that's why I use fluid film because I just buy that, you know, local through Napper. All right. Uh, let's see. Get the last one here. Uh, do modern brand vehicles need a break-in period? Any concerns driving a brand new vehicle less than 50 miles from Houston to OKC? I am not the best person to ask that question because if you check, if you, you know, check with the manufacturer, they're going to say, you know, or your dealer that there is no more break-in period. If it was my car personally, uh, you know, just kind of being old school, I wouldn't run my 500 miles on, you know, the oil that's in it when you bought it, assuming, you know, it's brand new, like you say. And then I would just do an oil change because that's a really, really cheap, you know, investment. So you buy a brand new car, it's 40 grand. You him and haul, do I need to change braking oil? Is there a braking period on these new engines? Uh, you know, at that point, I'm just like, well, I don't want to guess. I'll spend the 50 bucks or whatever it is to, um, <laughs> uh, you know, just to get that problem solved. So, uh, or that question, <laughs> I don't know why he still has that picture. Uh, so I hope that answers your questions. I guess if I'll say this, I don't mean to have all the word whiskers here. If you doubt it or have the time and ability to replace the oil, you know, prior to a long trip, I would, it's better to be safe than sorry. Uh, but I don't know the actual technical answer to it, but if it was me, I would. So we'll leave it at that. Uh, let's see. Hannah needs a chair. Well, she's going to be sitting here in the hot seat because I got to fix her car. So she's going to be entertaining the people. Oh, yeah. Did you know that? I did not know that. <laughs> Do you want to pull your car in? Yeah, you pull it in. I'm going to eat in front of you guys. I'm sorry. I'm starving. Can we reveal Hannah's real identity? We can't. Um, so Hannah's car needs a new resonator. And I told her I'd put it on for her. So we got a resonator. Of course, it's a, a aftermarket, you know, it's a Walker one. So you're supposed to replace like the entire exhaust because it's one welded assembly. So hopefully we can fit this in there, changing just the resonator. Hey, napkin. I got a sleeve. Got a old rack over here. Yeah, <laughs> scrape pipe it. Yeah, look good. She brought me an Italian sub as a bribery. What kind of sub? Italian sub. Oh, uh, you got onions. Not a big fan of onions. Huh? Not a huge fan of onions. They're wicked strong. I think you did good. Perfect. I see that black olives, Parmesan cheese, iceberg lettuce. So. I, had one too I apologize right for eating in front of you. You did what? I had one on my hair. What'd you have? Spicy Italian. 
Do you realize that you're shorter than me standing up than I am when I sit down? And I got boots on. You're pretty, you're pretty small, Anna. <laughs> Not gonna lie. Oh man. Jalapeno? No, no jalapenos. I try to not destroy myself. Uh, and also, guys, you know, I do appreciate you, the viewers. And sometimes I don't say that. And somebody told me that. Somebody sent me a message, said that they would appreciate it if I appreciated them more. And I try to appreciate it. I try to appreciate you guys. So I'm just saying I appreciate you. Um. What else is I going to tell you? Oh, and don't feel the need to send a super chat. I am appreciative of the super chats. I notice them because they pop up on the screen. And, you know, obviously I'll do my best to answer them, but don't feel obligated to do that. Just FYI. Is Hannah a nurse yet? Are you a nurse yet? Nope. I still have this semester and two more semesters to go. Oh, I took out my own stitches. Bam! Like a boss at the dinner table with my knife. Cover my mouth. Sterilize your knife? No. I, my hand was dirty too. I just dragged But look how good that healed. Can't tell. I have mm -hmm. not even a sweet scar. Uh, do we have a sheets? We don't have a sheets. You got to go a little bit further south uh, in the PA. I'll make a freaking mess. Mine was super messy too. She laid on the mayonnaise. Oh. Well, see, my teeth don't line up, so I can't bite stuff real good. Uh, <laughs> yeah, chicks dig scars. Uh, let's see. Hello from Rome. Let's see what else we got. Anybody have, uh, how did I hurt my hand? Uh, I said it on the last live chat. It's a total week story. Punctured it with a piece of glass. I fell, had a glass in my hand. Squeezed it, hit the ground, piece of glass went through it, in it. Does anybody have any questions for Miss Hannah? Uh-oh. Before I, I just want to eat this real quick and we'll get fixed in her car. <laughs> A real whiny story, yeah, exactly. Uh, let's see. Watch this. This is fun. Boop. I'm out. What happened? Oh, it's there. It just pops back up. Oh, they want to know how you're liking school. It's difficult, but good. Challenging. And what is Stressful. your? Stressful. Do you miss working at the shop? Of course she does. Oh, five guys in a beer. Oh, man, I wish we had a five guys. We have five guys, a Tom Walls, and a Krispy Kreme. Five guys in Elmira. That's a long guy. Wish we had something closer. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's see. This is getting all zippy zap. Oh, some, some dude's kids asking about you. I don't know how old she is. She's too old for him. <laughs> I was going from super dirty work to sterile work. Oh, you can answer it. I was in the hospital the other day and I wasn't like, wow, this place is clean. I was in there like, wow, I hope I don't die. Yeah. It was pretty, it was <laughs> nasty. <I'm> like, <laughs> uh, where are you going for your internship? Are you going to a hospital? Uh, we have clinical once a week and I'm going to Robert Packer. Robert Packer. How did you get involved with auto mechanics? We gave her a job. <laughs> uh, DeVos Garage, so Rich from the DeVos Garage, you wrote, people know that if, uh, if I have to work on their uh, stuff late, they have to bring Timmy's coffee. I'm with uh, Dr. Duncan. What's Timmy's coffee? It must be, he's, see, he's up in Canada, so maybe it's a Canadian thing. Unless it's like code word for beer. <laughs> oh, 
oh yeah, Hannah's a nurse. That's infinite boxes of rubber gloves for me. So you're gonna have to smuggle some rubber gloves out of the hospital for me. I don't wear your size. Oh, well, you can get some larges, extra large, whatever I get. Get your purple ones. They want to know if you miss my jokes. What jokes? My jokes that I give all day. What jokes? So disappointed with you right now. Uh, do I live near an airport? I do not. But they are strip. Yeah, we got. If you got like a Cessna, you can land about five hundred yards away if you'd like. Oh, Tim, Tim Moore and okay, that's Timmy's. Okay, I see. Gotcha. Let's see. Ooh. You want to be a doctor or just a nurse? Nurse practitioner. NP, I call it. Is that what they're called? Yeah. Okay. How long have I worked for you? A couple of years, two, three years. Two years? I don't know. Too long. Oh, I see how it is. <laughs> Uh, let's see. So I, I'm almost done. Then we're gonna we're gonna work. <laughs> Just do, N, <laughs> NP or RN. So NP. I'm going to school for RN, and then I'll work up to NP. What's the most pissed off I've gotten during a repair? Mm -hmm. You probably never see me mad. Well, you see me mad, but not like the one where every bolt was breaking. Which one's that? That's every car in New York. <laughs> they want to know if you've ever been in any cat fights. Nope. Never? Wow. Pretty good. You still got time. Tell the truth. How is Eric being a boss? They want the truth. So you give them the truth? The whole truth. And nothing but the truth. Tell them it's awesome. Maybe guys, it's not. But you'd be lying then. No. What? That guy what? Oh, he said that his wife's an NP and she makes big bucks. Yeah. Bolso or Walker for the exhaust? Walker is what we have. What's up with Josh? Oh, actually, I, I have Mr. Josh's. Now, listen to this crap. I have Josh's car out in the parking lot. Or his friend just picked it up to take it back to him. So he brings it in. He's got it at school. And they're going through their experiments and testing and stuff. So he's finishing up on his first year. Is he finishing up on his first year? Is that, is he? He's in his last semester of his first year. Yeah, so he's in his last semester of his first year, auto mechanic. So wanted the boy to go to college to get an education. He has a 05 Honda Accord with a four banger in it. And he apparently has had a check engine light now. And it's setting a bunch of codes. And they can't figure out why. This is at their college in their training. This is college professors. This just kind of pisses me off a little bit. So, excuse me, that was super rude. So he brings the car here and I check it out. It's got a, a code for variable bell timing. It has a code for um, the VTEC and it has a code for intake air temp sensor. So I check it out and I'm watching scan data and intake air temps reading. And then all of a sudden it's minus 40. And VVT is working, and then it's not working. And then the car goes into D rate, won't go over 2,500 RPMs. And all of a sudden, the cam timing is working, and then all of a sudden, it goes right to 0%, zero, zero percent, throws a code. So I bring it in, check it out. I touch the uh, intake air temp sensor connector, and I start wiggling it, and it's going negative 40, 86, negative 40. You know, it keeps bouncing. It keeps going open-circuited. So I was like, well, that's kind of odd. You know, I unplug it. I check it, I do a pin drag test, and the pins, there's no resistance whatsoever. So I tear the connector apart, reach in the back of the surgical needle, bend a little tang back up, put it back together, plug it back in, it works perfect. I go back to the VTEC, I pierce the wire, it's got a six volt bias on it, it should be pulled to ground, and it's, it's staying at six volts. I wiggle the connector, it goes to zero, and then back to six, back to zero. I tear that connector apart, all the, you know, no, no, no pin drag. So I'm starting to think to myself, like, this is impossible. This is just happening on three connectors. Long story short, 
variable cam timing, same thing, no pin drag. I'm like, that's ridiculous. So I, I call him, I'm like, hey, you know, tell me what you've been doing in school. Of course, he lets the whole cat out of the bag. They've been doing their wire testing class and they're not allowed to pierce wires and they have to front probe with T pins. And if the T pin falls out, the teacher tells them to shove it in further. So needless to say, I don't know how many kids are in the automotive program over there, but they implanted a whole bunch of problems into all their cars because I asked Josh, I said, how many connectors did you touch on your car? And he started rattling them off, you know, map sensor, headlights, you know, they were going through all their lab and they completely destroyed all their cars. Uh, so I kind of feel bad for the kids over there. Apparently he did pierce a wire because of course that's what he's seen me do and he got in trouble for it. Uh, I thought about writing a letter to his teacher if you can't, you can't front probe. You can front probe. You have to have the appropriate tool. If you use a T pin, just touch it on the end of the connector. Don't shove it in the socket. But here you go. That's what he's paying for. You got to do what the teacher says, or you're gonna fail. The college is being more and more notorious for that. Thing. Yeah, I've just I've got another story about that too. Oh yeah. <laughs> so Hannah school seems like a joke. I don't, I don't know if your teacher's watching. I don't know if she watches that. No, the same better. school job for Josh. Oh really? A different program. Oh, oh, with their machining. Uh huh. Yeah, so I'm, you know, I told Josh, you know, not to front row, but you know, if if that's what his teachers, you know, if it's going to be a pass or fail, you know, what's he going to do? You know, be moral and not do it. But uh, anyhow, yeah, I'm going to live stream the resonator, but I had to tell a story about how crappy his college class is so far. Is Hannah Josh's sister? Nope. I'm close. <laughs> not at all. Oh, see, Keith let out. Hannah is my daughter, he says. Sounds like a crappy school. They were featured in Motor Magazine as one of the top tech schools. So what's that tell you? Did they pay for it or what? I don't know. Oh, Wyatt says hi. Excuse the interruption, but I wanted to say hi to Hannah. <laughs> So say hi, Wyatt. You remember Wyatt? Hi, Wyatt. You remember Wyatt, right? Yeah, from, from here. Yeah. Up at the party, the exclusive SMA private meetup. All right. I'm done feeding my face. I'm going to work on your car. Do you guys want to keep this live streaming while I fix your car? There's like almost 1,500 people watching this. Does it usually get above that? No, I usually it's around a thousand. We gotta wait. It's about a thirty second delay. Now let's see. Product placement. Yes. Yes. Oh, okay. It looks like they want to see it. I don't know how much you'll be able to see. I can uh the little camera does move, so if Hannah would so kindly come over here once I get the car up and you know we can get underneath it. I don't know if the video quality sucks. But like I said, the audio sucks, the video sucks, but the content's okay. Anyhow. And I've also been informed, Hannah, that I use too many word whiskers. Ums, ahs, so's. I'm trying, I'm trying to work on that. I should, get a, I should get a zap collar so every time I do one, you can be like, oh. There you go. I'm sure. But I'm not here. Yeah. Exactly. Suited up, PPE. Learned about that today, again. You learn about PPE. Mm -hmm. We preach it on our channel. With That's all. Infections. If I worked in a hospital, I wear like six layers of glove, a mask, face mask, helmet, Tyvek suit. I would not screw around. All right, here we go. So keep an eye on the people. You okay. guys can talk to them. Read the comments. They're gonna talk to you in the comments. Oh, it's gonna be wonderful. Tell them you don't have enough money for next semester of college. No. Well, I don't. <laughs> I need to bring the bank back. <laughs> I need gas money, right? Yep, constantly. Uh, how many miles are you driving a week? A lot. I go to Corning Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Sarah on Saturday. Oh, miles. 
and then little trips here and there. And then trips here and there. But the past three weekends, I've been driving three hours away, too. See your boyfriend? No. I can see him during the week if I want. What happened to my car? My car needs a resonator. They want you to sponsor me. Huh? Sponsor me. Yeah, uh, go fund me, bitch. Go fund me. <laughs> Here we go. Going up. It's an 07. Toughest class I have? Nursing. My car has about 125,000 on it. How's it looking? Well, let me go grab the resume and make sure we got the right one. So can all the people see the comments? That pop up? Uh, yeah. So yeah. Over here. Like all these comments here, yeah. yeah. And they can see. Is this see. mine? Yeah, that's mine. I'm drinking on mine. I'm not drinking on yours. Mine's over there. I don't like coke. I like the nasty hospital stuff on it. I haven't even been to the hospital. Because oh. it was canceled on Saturday. Yeah, so let's see. Yeah, my clinical's at Sarah, Robert Packer. Parks Cannon. Oh, she's going to fit like a glove. I think I can do it. You think? Yeah. I hope you can. I got my ride home. I'll just steal see. another ride. How can we, uh, I got an idea. Wait, I'm genius. We moved my stuff. I'm not in the room to stack crash. <laughs> I get job tickets now. Uh, new invoicing program. I print myself out a job ticket. I'm just like a dealer tech. Job ticket? Yeah, it tells you like what you gotta do and how many hours you got. It's super technical. You wouldn't understand. Oh yeah. Got a printer out here now. Bam! Ah. I found it. Found it upstairs. I got a printer. Pretty sweet. It's like from 2010. I got her working. So we're gonna go like this. Look at that. Got it on a little stand. Oops. Gotta move my mouse. That will come right over here. I only got. Oh, crap. What'd you do, Hannah? I got you. Yeah, go down here and click on that. Try it. Click on the green one. Bam. Look at that. We're back in business. All right. So here we are. You guys going to be happy with this view? Let's see. We'll wait for the people. You're going you're gonna to have to go over there to see what they're saying periodically. Let's see. We got a good view. Yeah. Looks good. All right. Now they want to see me. <laughs> Why the pair? They just don't want to see me. I can stay off camera. You grab that purple seed. All good repairs start with a cutting torch. Just FYI. And it's all about. Do what I got. I'm showing the people my new sweet tool. I got me a new, I got to look over there and see if I'm on camera. DeWalt Sawzall, because I had one of these. And I don't use them a lot because I have a cordless one, but my cordless one broke, so I needed my corded one. But I loaned this out to somebody. Somebody out there has my Sawzall. And I remember I loaned it to a guy. It was in a black case, and I had it for many years. It was just like this one. I had a little quick chuck thing. And whoever it was called me and got upset with me because I loaned him my Sawzall, but I didn't have no blades in my kit. 
And I remember that person called and I'm like, man, who would I have loaned it to who would have been a big enough jerk to call me and say they didn't, you know, I didn't have no blades. So I called a couple of people that I thought would have said that, but they claimed it wasn't them. So I had to buy another one, 109 bucks, something like that. Pretty close to that anyways. What do you got? Oh, just looking. All right. We just pulled the video feedback up. Cool. Uh, yeah. Anyhow. Uh, yeah, you can still browse on there with the video up. There you go. And can you go over and grab our sawzall blades on the shelf with all the cordless stuff? Uh -huh. Just a little bit of kit. <laughs> so what we're going to do, folks, you can't see under the car because I've only got so much USB cord. I'll bring it as close as I can. This is kind of weird. It's kind of awkward. Bring it over here. You get like a cordless camera of sorts. Hopefully that'll stay. I got you on my little tray. Get a light. Like I say, installing these uh, Walker resonators, you're supposed to replace anything that's welded. So we're supposed to go from here all the way back. We're supposed to buy the whole muffler. Blah, blah, blah. So what they do is they intentionally make them like too short so they don't fit. But we should uh, we should be good. We'll figure it out. Too short. Story of Hannah's life. We'll get us a little metal sawzall blade. All my sawzall blades are pretty well shot. That one looks like it's half a good. Uh, we're gonna need the cord from over there. So what we're gonna do is uh, right over there. We're gonna cut the cut torch, gonna blow the two bolts off. Gotta put our little purple stand under the flex pipe because we don't want the flex pipe to go flexing too much and break off. And then we'll take the sawzall and chop it off at the back as tight as we can get it, and hopefully the new resonator fits. That's my plan. Hold here, cut back there, and be good to go. Did everybody check out already? Oh my gosh, there's 1,500 people up in there. Mm -mm. 1,500 folks, Anna. Watch it. We really got that. Got my cheap sunglasses. You know that song? What song? Cheap sunglasses. Who's that man song? You know, can't believe you don't know that song. Wake up in the morning. You know, I'm not really good singer, but you know what I mean. So, oh, hey, here we go. Whoops. All right. Are we live? There we go. We're good. Oh man, such a pretty. So much rust. Straight one, not anything pointy or nothing. So the flex plate. Tell them that it has studs that go through the flex plate, and 
then you know got nuts on them. So we got to heat up the, the blades there on the flex pipe, and then just tap it out. But if we tap on it, it's going to drive the flex pipe forward. So we'll vice grip the two flanges together, heat them up, knock it out. Bob, your uncle. So we'll see what the comments are saying over here. Now let's see. Yeah, you're not having fun until there's a fire. That's right. We got fire extinguishers though. No big deal. Don't be worried. Won't be the first time something went in flames. studs up out of this joint, which you guys can see a little better, but I'll do this if I actually hold that. Oh, yeah. Well, Is anybody still watching? Some people are. 
these are the rivets we just had to take out. So these are the rivets that go from the, you can see their spline. Hopefully, I don't know if that's focusing, but they're a splined rivet that goes in that has eight millimeter threaded portion on the other end. Cut them off, heat them up, knock them out. That's the plan. So now that flange is all good to go. I suppose you could drill them. And the vice grips are a little toasty. I got no place to set tools on the cart. We go, is our tool cart free over on the other side? I have no idea. We'll go back to the comments real quick here. Oh, wheel you over. What's going on over here? Not rivets, I, you're more like a stud. They're a planned stud. Um, terrible with the, with the terminology. Thank you guys. Oh, Oh, don't even think about squirting me with that. Should I squirt him with it? No, you shouldn't, Hannah. You should be better than that. We'll see what the people say. Yeah. You ever heard of a garden hose? Mm-hmm. You'd meet it. Uh, let's see what we got. I right, take a break. I just worked. Any more scope videos in the making? There is. Uh, hopefully, I'll get them together and out soon. I did see a big demand for that. I was pretty happy to see that. See, they're telling you, be nice. But I saw a couple yeses. Nah, they don't, they don't mean it. We all mean These are better. Oh, they want a straight pipe start up. Boom, boom, boom. You want to hear it with no pipe on I The flex pipe's pretty fragile, so I don't want to mess with it. All right. All right, anyhow. Let's not get too sidetracked here, people. You're getting all sidetracked on me. Actually, I'm probably the one sidetracking everybody. Back over to Hannah Car Cam. All right, we got to finish taking the resonator out. Let me see, prop this up with my hammer. There we go. Look at that hammer prop. Where's our saws on blades up there right here? Came in them safety glasses, wiped the three inches of dirt off them first. So, oh, uh, there's some hanging up next to the clipboard. <laughs> yeah, if I don't wear them, the people will be like, Yeah, where's your safety glasses? You only got one on. All that, so whatever they say. I mean, I love the people, don't get me wrong. I should wear my glasses more than I do. Are they clean? Oh, yeah. Nothing on. Pretty close. Yeah, right. Look at that. You can't the freaking. I told you to wipe the dirt off them. I remember that one time you wiped the dirt off the glasses. I thought they were pretty awesome. They cleaned them. Yeah. Safety. So we're going to cut it as close to the resonator as we can. Let me just make sure that this uh, flexi pipe can stay on its own now. Okay, it can stay on its own. I'm happy with that. You want to catch your resonator in case you falls. Get that ready. I can't see crap. There we go. All right, how's the people? Are they looking good? Mm -hmm. Yeah. tool over in the other over in the other box in the junk drawer yeah. yeah it's blue handle i think it's a blue point whatnot oh man i miss hannah having hannah here to go get tools because i ain't nothing to do no walking that's my favorite part what's going on in the comments cut through the floorboard 
There they are. These are official muffler insulator rubber releasing tools. These are snap on ones, blue point. They're kind of junk. I had to, I think the first day I used them, I had to weld them back together because they use these little crappy rivets and then the whole end comes loose. And this is really, this was really flimsy, this end down here. So it bends real easy. Uh, I could turn them in for warranty, but you're going to warranty them every time you use them. So I just welded it, called it a day. shorter our new one is hopefully not too short oh baby she's short uh but i prepared for this in the bathroom it should be a, a two inch id id four inch long coupler so we're going to take stick that back up on the rubber we're going to do a temporary mock-up come on little fella get some uh get some blue what do you want? I don't care. Thrust. That'll work. Some spray stuff of some sorts. Oh, you want to see the people go crazy? Watch this. You spray down one of your rubber insulators. I'm like, that's going to run on the rubber. Well, she, had, she already had her car sprayed with Crown, so. You know. Uh, oh, that's hot. Go upstairs and get. Uh, we want two uh, 3 8 bolts, like inch and a half long. Two, two, yeah, two three eighths bolts in champ long and a couple a couple nuts. So we got the resonator up there. What we'll do is we'll bolt it to the flange. We don't need to put a gas in there. We're just going to bolt it. Uh, inch and a half. Three eighths. Yeah. Uh, we'll bolt it to the flex pipe. Get in this hanger. We'll install the. I, I bought a little coupler piece. Uh, two inch ID, ID on both sides, uh, two four inches long. We'll make sure everything lines up. So here's a little coupler I bought. We'll set that on the back, flip it over the OEM pipe, tack weld this onto the resonator, tack weld it to the factory pipe, mm. unbolt it. Ah, yeah, car <laughs> karma right there. For Un what? I don't know, for being thinking bad things about me. Undo the rubber. We'll lay it back down. Zip around at one time with the MIG. Call it a day. That's the plan. I'm ready to call it a day. All right. Did you have school today? Mm -hmm. I think that was 455. Oh, got my skin. Oh no, it's just my rubber glove. Let's see. Got to look at a sheep heart today. A sheep heart? What the hell does that got to do with working on people? We didn't have any physiology. We're doing the oh. heart. Oh. Like, here, here's a sheep. It's close enough. Probably is. Ah, oh, these won't fit through the resonator. Grab some 5 16 ones right now. We'll drill that up 3 8 Same length and everything. The 3 8 ones won't fit back through the flex pipe side where the splines were. Anybody still with us? 1,505 people. That's pretty amazing. Um... <laughs> I hope nobody's doing uh, there's some moderators up in there so Keith will get you if you're doing anything naughty don't do anything naughty because I can't see the comments from over here there you go perfect thank you there should be a gasket out on the shelf too Hannah uh, it's going to look like this two bolts big hole in the middle with a flange gasket we're going to need it eventually and bring out the welder the little red one my little mini welder. So we'll stick some bolts in here. I don't know what you guys can see of this repair. Probably not much. I'm sorry about that. Uh, I seen it earlier. Might be on the floor or something. Yeah, you find it? That's yeah, perfect. Beautiful. Where's the welder? Let's do that to you oh. first. Here is the gasket that we'll need when we're finished. Final assembly. Walker gasket. Part number 31311. 
We'll need that. Looks like we got it all lined up. When they welded their little hanger on that goes on the rubber, they've got that smidge off. That's uh, well, no, I should really make it recording. Just like Monroe Muffler. I'm like the Monroe Muffler guy. All right, let's see what we got. Bang gas. Sounds like beer. We got gas. Oh, our tip is looking nasty. Come on, hand me a flathead screwdriver, with. Oh, that's a little short one there. There you go. Plus, I've been doing some real chicken poo well from last time. There we go. If any good comments come across, Miss Annie, tell me. Diffuser is now clean. People are going to go crazy. Don't give her a little too here. Turn it on, fella. There we go. Close your eyes. Close your eyes again. Close them again. Okay. Open your eyes. So that pipe, little extension pipe, is now welded to the resonator. They can turn it. This is just like an episode of Junkyard Wars. tacks on it and like I say I'll just you can weld it where it's at but being that we can just unhook it from the flex pipe and let it down a little do a little nicer job we will comment section going crazy yet no you're not yelling at me Sounds just like frying bacon smells even better. Well, not better. Good. Pretty close. Not exactly. Now, uh, where's the thrust there, Henley? All right. No, no good comments yet. Except they could smell my hair burning. Oh, yeah, you know what? There's that. Oh, that's going to contaminate my weld. All right. I just got to be able to get that rubbers back off. Almost here. Like walking in the building here? Oh, I hear Oh, yeah, the guy's picking up. Picking up a man I did a video on. No good comments? No. 
What is wrong with the people? Somebody should be yelling at me at some point. Okay, thank you. Yep. Can I have the rubber thingies here? Whatever they're called. Left my mind. They should ask me a question. Who should ask you a question? They should. People? Yeah. Hannah's manning the computer over there, even though you can't see her. So you should ask her a question while I take and pop this rubber off. There she is. There's one. That is the rear hanger. All right, pick up the tripod thing or monopod. Unbolt the flange. Can you still see me? Yep. Okay. How's the audio and video, folks? How's it coming through? Loud and clear? Choppy and crappy? It's about a 30 second delay, and yeah. sometimes they say something to time the folks respond. I will not answer the question of what is my relationship to air. Ooh. Secret. The unthinkable question. The mystery. The they probably unknown. can't hear me, can they? Right, the microphone's behind you on the camera. Can you guys hear Hannah when she talks over there? You probably just have to turn around and look like you're speaking to me. That would be my guess. Am I going to take over SMA soon? <clears throat> Write the check. Young lady, I'll hand you the keys tonight. Well, what are you going to do? Nothing. I'll be rich. Well, <laughs> a little possible. I mean, I'll be temporarily rich. I'll get a job in like another year. There we are. The exhaust is dangling now. Where's my welding? That's what they're all asking. See, I told you they're going to be on. I have my safety squints on. What's the most interesting thing I've learned in school? Seeing a C-section. Seeing a C-section? I don't know. Like nothing here. Kind of. Alright, here we go. Everybody close your eyes. Should not be wearing rubber gloves. I'm doing this kind of stuff. Oh, you hit the camera. Close. Fire the hole. How much are you charging? I haven't decided yet. Too much for me, probably. I don't know. Huh? Cash. What if I don't have cash? Then
hear that sizzle? Ah, yeah. sounds good. There it is. Sealed up just like a whatever gets sealed up like a mason jar, we'll say. I need a hat and people are gonna want it like that. A lot of white hair up in there. Is there a single welded ball joint joke? Because usually anytime we break out the welder, that one comes out. No, I haven't seen a single one. Not a single one. I'm proud of it. Everybody's kind of simmering now. Oh, you son of a ding dong. What did you do to my car? Well, then I missed about an eighth inch little spot on the very tip top. Ah, rookie. Can't edit this crap out. Oh man, wouldn't that be awesome if Twin Kiss was open? Right, I think it should always be open. Right next to a Krispy Kreme, right next to a five star, right next to a five guys with Tom Walls right You'd never be at work. You'd be in the nah, hospital. I'm in the hospital, that's right. Then I'd have to take care of you. I don't feel so good. Rookie mistake. Man, I can't make any mistakes. Everybody's watching. This guy says you, we can't see your mistakes, so don't worry. Oh, okay, good. So just don't even pretend you have it. All right. Everything's going perfectly planned. There it is. Your resonator is now installed. We need the cordless drill with a 3 8 one size bigger than 3 8 whatever that is. 3 8 and a 64. Not good with the numbers, or I'd tell you. Yeah, I do. Yeah. Probably like a what? A 25 64? Did I just look at something cheap? Maybe. Maybe not. But we're going to wilder out the holes in the flexi joint. Make them accept a 3 8 bolt like the Walker muffler does, or the resonator. Twenty-five, sixty-four. Is that what it is? And I just did the math in my head real quick. What? Twenty-five, sixty-four. Mm -hmm. Yes, it is. Yeah. I just ran the numbers, did fractions. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Wow. Ah, compressor. Get the gasket. 
Where's them threes, nuts and bolts? You got them? You took them. There's safety glasses. Let me see them over here. I got a couple of 516s here on the folder. Oh, they're right here on the left. I'm too sure to see him. Yeah, here you take this. I can see him. <laughs> nice! Fail. My bad. Always hey, cut toward you, buddy. Everything, we're done with everything. Oh, I forgot, you get to pick all this crap up. I'll just leave it. Where have you been? Yeah. Taking care of my own stuff, struggling. We're almost done, folks, and then show the show will carry on. Go home and study. This is all I do for my three tests next week, three exams, and my skills test on Friday. Your skills, <laughs> like with a Z, <laughs> S K I L Z, no, nothing. Ah, uh, oh, come on, that was a joke. Ah, uh, uh, for us to laugh. All right, need uh, nine sixteenths. Little wrench. I think I only got one on this side, so give me a nine sixteenths and a fourteen. Because they're close enough. If I pass, I need an injection. Ooh, I just got my tetanus shot the other day. Nice. Didn't even hurt, didn't even cry. I like big boy. 14, 9 16, Tana, and a 14. What'd I give you? 5 eighths. You're like, you're out there saving people's lives and you can't even hand me the right wrench. I'm like, here, let me give you four, four milligrams. Oh, I gave you 400. I don't know what that'll do. Perfect, thank you. Okay, well. oh. And then I just like, take that out of Oh. Trouble. Anybody know the torque spec on these? What? Well, always go a little extra. That's what I was saying. Well, there it is. Factory installed. Let's see if you guys can get a get a look at it. Let's see. There is the resonator. On the Malibu. Boom. Now I guess all we have to do is let Hannah pick up all the tools because that's the awesome part about having Hannah work here is you don't have to take care of any of your own stuff. What? No, don't you. No, I think I'll fire you. Where do you put this? Do you grind what? it up on the side? Oh, yeah. oh you're being, you're being serious. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I thought you being silly trying to black goes there man. I thought you take care of it. I, I thought you usually wind it up for you, don't I? Yep. That's kind of nice boss of hand. Mm -hmm. well, that one goes around there. Okay. Yeah. So I remember that for next time. Yeah, well the welder portion, you can't you can't wind that tight, you don't want to break the liner. Mm -hmm. So there you go. Anybody find out where my other uh, salt is on yet? That's all I remember. I wish I remember. Anytime I loan out a tool, which I always loan out tools, I always write their name down on my whiteboard. And this time I didn't, and it burned me. So now I had to buy another one. I'm glad I did. It seemed to work good. But unfortunately, the time I needed it, I was at home. I put a dock out on our pond, and I had to go borrow one from somebody. So I hate borrowing tools myself. Um, let's see. Take care of that. I'll take care of this. Oh, there it is. Thanks. Climb them up. All right, there we go. We're back. We're back now. Not great. Text messages. Always getting texts. Uh, 
let's see. He's got a knock sense of code. Can't figure it out. 100 bucks to figure it out. Yes. There we go. Sure thing. Piece of cake. I already know what's wrong with it. Maybe. Oh, let's see here. What do we have? Uh, let's see. Oh, we got the old plow guys up in this joint. Hey. Oh, are these yours? Uh, thank you. <laughs> 1,500 people are still watching. Do you have a good idea what it is already? <laughs> oh, you must be watching my live stream. Good idea of what? Um, maybe. <laughs> Let's see what we have. Oh, yeah, got me. We have no life. No, you guys have a life. It's it's late, seven o'clock. We got we still have a full hour left. What time we start? Yeah, because we tried to do a little two hour two hour special. Is this mine? I hope. Yeah. Uh, let's see where we got. What what am I missing? No, they're not a sponsor. What's up, Auto Tech? They said this is the best stream ever. What do we have here? Get this thing taken care of. Ice cream. Let's see. Could make an interesting video. He took the wire out to the harness and says he can't tell anywhere it's broke or anything. Change both sensors and the pigtail. Hmm. Let's see. Josh, no, Josh doesn't have the missing saw because he wouldn't have called me and said, how come you didn't get no blades, man? Oh, and you want me to just come cut the piece of wood for you, too? If you're going to borrow a saw, though, you just go buy your own blade. I don't know. I just didn't have any blades in there because we keep them in a little container. So, oh, you can take grab that light and let your car down if you want. Why? Leave the cannon where it's at because the locks are... Temporarily disabled. Uh, let's see. <clears throat> What's up, Kevin's Electrical Tool Channel? Uh, where we got Krispy Kreme spot? Oh, man, I wish Krispy Kreme. If you're watching Krispy Kreme and you want to sign a deal, trust me, we can do something. We can work that out. Absolutely. No, I, I asked the people in the beginning of the video not to send Krispy Kremes because the ones that came in the mail were unedible. So, um, just FYI, because they come from California. Oh, I can't eat one of them donuts, man. They are they're rough. I'm not gonna lie, they're rough. How solid is my diagnostics? Uh, well, they're good until they're not. As far as how solid they are, I, I can't really say. I'm not a good judge of character. I'm judging myself. I, um, so I, I don't know. I'm all right. Mediocre, I would put myself at. I do have a guy that stops by that brings me donuts. Yeah, it does suck. I feel really terrible that, you know, the folks took the time to, to send the Krispy Kreme donuts in appreciation for SMA, and then they show up and they're crappy. I still really appreciate it, and I want that to be known. So I, hopefully that we've reflected that here today. I'm not going to try not to eat these in front of you anymore. Uh, how far booked am I? Let's see. Week. There we go. All right, I should end that. So, um, oh, you're gonna start it up. See if it's quiet. You took the lift out already before you started it. <laughs> Talk about confidence. Talk about confidence. Ready? Yeah. Is it loud there? All right, we gotta check that gasket. <laughs> loud on camera too. We gotta go back from here. Yeah, I, I forgot to tell you. Sometimes on these flanges, 
I'm gonna be a little whoop de whoop in them. And then we gotta heat them up, tap them back a little bit from driving out the rivets. It looked pretty flat, so we gotta see where our little noise is coming from. Also, bear in mind the flex pipe was sketchy to start with. You ruined my flex pipe. I didn't ruin your flex pipe. You might have ruined my flex pipe. Ever since you ever since you filled my washer fluid. Yeah. Oh, I didn't realize you were taking a lift out of snow. I should have stopped it. Oh, look at here. Ah, boom. Right in the back. All right, we're going to get I demand a refund. Huh? I demand a refund. Yeah. Now well, the price is right. Oh, that's how quiet she is now. Fuck up. Out of my way. Not quiet enough. So the problem is. Oh, yeah, that one worked. I think it's down one direction. Oh, yeah. 
yeah. I can't believe there's almost 1,600 people over here watching. So the sucky part is, is the uh, flange on the factory flex pipe is quite a bit smaller than the flange on the aftermarket walker. So the gasket they use, the centering hole, is a real fine line between where it's on the edge of the flange or just past it. If I let her shut it off, i got to get it centered up a bit better. It has a teeny tiny leak right there. Barely hear it. Customers complaining as usual. It is quite loud. <laughs> Better your old resonator falling off. No. Sounds about the same. Go south the lift so it can come down on you all the way. Well, I'll stop it at the right height, you know. This ain't your first day. We're going to get all fumigated in here. We keep it running. Don't fall. I don't have any insurance. There you go. Whoa. What? I thought you were going to eat it. If you're going to fall down, you'll at least get on camera. All right, you can go, right, go raise your back to the top floor. If you would, please. Thank you. Uh, let's see. Yeah, whatever happened to beer, beer cans and hose clamps? Unless you want it permanent, then you got to use like a pork and beans can. Yeah, I know, right, Mike? I should just weld all the way around that flange. Sorted. <laughs> JP weld it. Oh, what else we got? 1,600 people? Are you guys crazy? Oh, it's not rework, Drew. It's not rework. It's just fine tuning. Entertain the people. I'll go pick the car. How do I entertain them? I don't know. Sing a song. I'm not, not singing. A copyrighted song. Huh? I don't want to get not a what? Copyrighted song. Well, I'm not going to sing it off, so don't worry about that. I sing for them. I'm not. Huh? I'm not. Oh, yeah. This is my homemade song. Ooh, that little tap. Then we had tap dance. Tap dance? How about some beatboxing? Can you beatbox for them? No. Can you beatbox? No. How about dubstep? Can you give them some dubstep? No. I'm boring. Oh. Lots of people. Well, you, you, let them, you let me know. I'm going to fix the gas. Bring your pie. One guy wants to do a GoFundMe page for a new car. For a new car? You really should get a new car, Hannah. I mean, this one's pretty rough shape. I know, and I just bought it, what, less than a year ago? Yeah, it looks like you got ripped off. Oh, man, that's way it is. Well, you know, oh, what are we going to do here? And a GoFundMe from uh, Mrs. O's Honda timing belt. <laughs> Man, everybody's going to get some money but me. The timing belt is going to be coming up soon. No, don't worry. Quiet in here. What's that? It says quiet in here. That's because I'm usually talking to people, but you're not providing them any sort of entertainment. <laughs> they want to get me a Toyota. There you go, there you go. 
I was thinking Honda Civic. That's what I wanted. Oh, they've already said that. You don't want that old thing. And if I do? I'll sell it to you. For how much? Oh, let's see. Time, materials that I got into it. Probably seven grand. Hey, they're telling me Hannah isn't boring. Oh, right. whatever. Whatever makes people happy. You gotta talk to him, man. Come up. You gotta, what you do know. I talk to you him about? Can you take speech classes in school? No. I just say a bunch of nonsense stuff. Gobbledygook? Huh? Gobbledygook? Whatever. I just make stuff up. They want an eco diesel in it. In what? In a Civic, I'm guessing. Tell us about school. What about school? Uh, no politics or religion also. I'm just telling you, FYI, that's one number, number rule on our channel. No, we don't talk about Trump or health care, religion or any, any debatable topic. Here, I got something for you to try and pronounce. Me? Mm-hmm. Wait, something over there in the comments? <laughs> oh, sh they call it. <laughs> IHS is where that's what I always call that huh. the idiopathic you know, syndrome. So, IHS, pretty common term. Do you know what it says? Everyday language. Well, my grades are good. I have to keep them up above, above an 85 in order to keep my scholarship. Salutatorian. Is that right? Yeah, that's right. You were salutatorian? Yep. Almost valedictorian. Yeah, except that one boy uh -huh. with the half a point. Or less. Just because he took band. Yeah, uh -huh. that, that boy. That extra 100. I told you, honey. I told Hannah, I said, you go get that boy a girlfriend, his grades will go right in the toilet. But she didn't I listen. I doubt it. Not with him. Yeah, I didn't with him. No. He'd be all in love and he wouldn't be worried about school. I really doubt that. That's Why do my clinical people want me? Tell me on live stream. Yeah. Round two. If this doesn't work, we're gonna have to get a different gas again, lady. You just have to deal with it. Is this mine? Yeah. All right. What else we got? No, we can't talk about the State of the Union. Sorry, BW. What's your favorite band? She doesn't know the name of any song, so. <laughs> Get it, Peterbilt. <laughs> What's up with the Amish dude's horse? Oh, I think the other live chat we had the Amish guy pulled up out front was doing some laundry. They want me to practice needle sticks on you. What's that? Practice needle sticks on you. Needle sticks on what? You. What needle? I get a needle and practice injections. Oh, on yeah, you. no. Negative. I don't want to get hurt. Let's see, here we go. Fire. No. What do I do to like to fun? I like to go hiking and read. What else do I do for fun? 
What did you do for fun? What, what Camp you do, hunt. What did you do last week? Oh, tell me, go hunting. <laughs> got, I got shot a deer all by herself this year. Mm -hmm. She went out hunting all by herself. Nobody else with her. Boom! Smoked her buck deer. Mm -hmm. Which has a really kind of funny story with it. It's inappropriate for you. It's a little inappropriate. For YouTube. The buck deer that she shot was uh another deer was giving that buck deer a piggyback ride if you know what i mean she waited yeah, for the piggyback saying? ride to finish and then shot the buck deer i thought it was pretty nice for a lot of finish having a <laughs> piggyback ride all the time and years i spent in the woods i've never seen that hannah goes out and so yeah a picture there. of it so people believe me <laughs> Hey, it's quiet now. Happy? No. Feel it. Heart to touch. <clears throat> All better. Is that mine? I got him laughing. Uh-huh. Okay. You got who laughing? You got him laughing. Oh. Well. Yeah, the deer died half, that's what I'm saying. Like, we should let him finish, I guess. Can yep. show them a picture of it? The old piggyback ride. Of your deer? Yeah, yeah we got a picture of your deer. Make sure He's a small little buck. There's more than that in a freezer bag. You, can, you ain't eating them horns. Yeah. Make sure ain't nobody's phone number going to pop up on there when you show them. No one's going to pop up. Oh, went way past it. Which one's the good one? Which one did I? Oh, which one's a good one? Can I just give him the deer or just do it? Oh, I thought you made it a hold net right there. That's a good one. There. Yeah, hold, hold focus. Side. There's Miss Hannah out solo hunting. Well, luckily, someone came to my rescue and helped me. <laughs> yeah, did, did he gut it for you? Yep. Oh, that's even better. <laughs> did, did he drag it out of the woods for you? Dragged it together. Oh. And I somehow lost my hunting knife in the process. Oh, that sucks. Because I was going to got it and just have him help me but he ended up doing it hey eric you love your sugar ain't that the truth Vito? poor bambi huh poor bambi uh how old is that lift that lift is i think 2009 maybe 2006 I bought that one back in 06. It's time to be replaced. I got to get rid of it. I'm getting a new one. Uh, anyway, what we got going on here? <laughs> this guy, Eddie, he don't trust women with guns. Yes, he doesn't trust me. Yeah. <laughs> Who's your uncle? Rest in peace. Oh, man. Yeah. Send me thumbs down. We didn't get no more thumbs down. You killed the deer. And... Well, that's a pretty debatable topic, too. How long does a lift last? Uh, I've had to replace, I put one lift cylinder in this, I replaced the cables twice. Uh, the safety lock cable just broke the other day, I gotta fix that. What weapon did I get him with? A Youth 243. Yeah. Remington, right? Is it Remington 700, I think? Or Savage? I can't remember what you shoot. it's a Remington. Yeah, that's what I thought. So, Hannah shoots a 243. Youth. Youth model. <laughs> Uh, how many kids do I have? Three that I know of. No, just three kids. That's all I have. Uh, let's see. Oh, this guy or girl. I don't know if it's a guy or girl. Emergency room nurse. What department do you want to work in? Pediatrics. Pediatrics. So she's working in a nursing home right now. Did a, a little internship there. I really weren't real happy with that, right? <laughs> Uh, let's see. Tell us a joke. You know any jokes? Got to be a clean joke. Like, what's the difference between a tuna fish and a piano? No, I no, you messed oh, it up. <laughs> trying to think of some jokes. I know a lot of bad jokes. I don't know any. There you go, Izzy. You're all fixed. Uh, this is they want 
Yeah. Girls always want to work peds until they find out how nasty births are. Well, I've already seen two births, so. I've seen three, and I'm not even a nurse. I got to see a C-section. Actually, uh, I didn't get to see a natural birth all the way. I had to leave. Oh, I did. But I got to see it. That's an image that sticks in your three mind. Three quarters of the way. I remember going in. I don't want to tell the story. <laughs> This is all I had all our babies with no medication, no epidurals, just raw dog, country style. Woo! I never complained to that woman about pain. Unless I get hurt and I cry like a baby. They said peds is different. So must be pediatrics is different than the birthing portion. You have labor and delivery. And then you have the nursery. And then you have peds. Oh. Uh, well, that's just, nah, no screaming, Jimmy. That's the scary part. Just in and <clears throat> tough. I'm just like, Psh, no way. If it, if it was up to dudes to have babies, each guy might have one kid, and I'd be all over. More specifically, I'm thinking pediatrics and an oncology. Oncology? Cancer. Oh. Stuff like that. I see. I'm not up with all the terms. I barely know acronyms for the business I'm in. Raw dog, that's how you get kids, that's right. <laughs> Why is the lift so slow? Good question. I assume for safety reasons, this lift is plumbed with 5 16 hydraulic hoses through 5 16 fitting. So even if you took a fitting and whacked it right off at the cylinder, it's still going to come down that fast. Whereas my other lift is hard piped with, I'm sorry, this is done with quarter inch hydraulic lines. My other one's three-eight steel lines. You whack a line off that, it hits the floor in about five seconds, if that. Uh, let's see. Boom, found a squirrel underneath his drive shaft once. The noise was driving him nuts. That's a good one. You like cats or dogs, Hannah? Yeah? Dogs. Dogs. Oh. Um, am I an L1 master tech? I'm not a master or anything. Or L1. I try to do A1 work though. Did Keith leave? Yeah, he probably had to get busy. He's probably got like five more hours worth of work to do. <laughs> <laughs> click, clap, click, clap, click, clap, bang, bang, click, clap. <laughs> Amish drive by. <laughs> That's funny. I do have a dog. Master, I have a dog. Oh. Uh, let's see what we got here. You need a chair. Yeah, I do need a chair. Were you going home or what are you doing? You're going to hog up the freaking camera the whole time. Uh, what do I think about changing the whole pan on a 12 Liberty? I think the newest one I put a pan on was like a 7 or an 8. It wasn't, there was a piece of cake. It was right in the open. Uh, let's see. What camera do I use right now? A Logitech. I don't know the model number. Uh, let's see. <laughs> is this crap live? It is, cats. Welcome to the crap show. Ever trained to oil on an Amish guy's horse? No. <laughs> yeah, I've had to scoop up their crap out of my driveway, though. How long does it take to skin a deer? About, what, five minutes, maybe? Yeah. Yeah, just, just a couple minutes. If you do them while they're hot, it's a piece of cake. I had a dog and a wife once. I kept the dog. <laughs> hey. <laughs> uh, let's see. Let's do that. What do you do with your drain oil burn? Oh, my oil burn. Uh, I recycle the oil or sell it. I don't burn it. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's see. Am I content with my YouTube channel and business? I have, I have no reason not to be. I, I mean, it's I'm content with it. It is what it is, I guess. Um, yeah, I, I, yeah, I'm content. Am I content? Oh, no, I can't tell if you're content or not. Do I look content? No. That's my content face. Yeah, we still have the red Civic. Um, <laughs> looking for a wife for the Oh, please send a picture of boat. Oh, that's terrible. Oh, you have a boyfriend. I do. 
Oh, do man. What I do. Watch this. Here goes the numbers. They're all going to start dropping now. Thumbs down. Woo. Is there good pizza in Avoca? Oddly enough, there is. Crosby's, the Aeromart, the little gas station down there. They do pretty good pizza for Avoca. Well, they're booing me now. Oh, are they? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I've seen that coming. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's see. Am I watching the game? You watching the game? What game? Uh, I'm guessing the Super Bowl. Oh. Nope. I didn't even know it was on. Oh, let's see. Oh, yeah. Let me... Is the car quiet? Of course it is. Super Bowl. Oops. Hope I didn't miss much. When's the meet and greet? I don't know. You uh, said you were going to have a meet and greet last summer. Or this we summer. did. We have a private party. Remember, you were there. No, that's not what you were talking about. Oh, I know. I think this summer we will, though, for real. For real. Am I invited? Maybe. You got to be on the list because we're going to have a list. I'm going to have people sign up, and I'm going to have one of them. I'm going to have, like, was it Dwayne Johnson, The Rock? I'm going to have him at the man in the gate, like, go on the list if you're not. They want to know if you babysit my kids. I have before. Not lately, though. Oh, $20 entry fee. That's what I'm talking about. There you go. Now, now i got to have the guy in sunglasses at the front gate. Hundred miles for lobster. Let me see. Oh man, this guy asks a question every time. DVD DMC ninety seven S ten two two four banger manual trans replace plug wires coils. Have jitters in it now, like in third gear. Uh, Boyt twenty five MPHs starts. Fit idles fine. Possibly bad wire coil, maybe a loose wire. Uh, I'll be honest with you, DVD. I mean, just with the description alone, there's so many potential possibilities. I can't even begin to answer it. I would say <coughs> if you didn't have the problems prior to doing any ignition tune up and now you have a problem, you likely created the problem. So I would go back through your steps uh, in that regards. It would be the best I could tell you. You know, if it starts an idle, fine, but it seems to have a judder under load and it wasn't there before, I would go back and, you know, check that. Uh, let's see what we got here. Casey Hill, this is to help with that gas going back and forth to school. Make sure she gets it, Eric. Son of a monkey. No, <laughs> burn. Thanks, Casey. Yeah, I will. I will make sure she gets it. Don't worry. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, uh, uh, the check's in the mail, Hannah. Mm. Yeah. Deducted off my I was going to say, maybe I'll pay for the resume. There you go. Got oh, back, back to business. Can I send a $1,000 super chat? You better not. That would be super embarrassing for me. Uh, what does Hannah's boyfriend do? Machinist. He's in college. To be a machinist. And he drove a Dodge. Wasn't um, my choice. Yeah, uh, yeah, it kind of is your choice. Wasn't my choice that he chose to drive a Dodge. And he wrecked it. Yeah. So he's a machinist. He drives a Dodge and is a bad driver. What are you looking for in a guy, Hannah? Oh, I, we, I haven't shown you guys this. I should have done this. I should have showed you this. This was made for me by a viewer, a local viewer, big fan. He made me this. Hope you guys can see it. It's a dormant garbage truck. <laughs> it's my little plaque. Oh, isn't that lovely? Hopefully it shows up right. So it's a little plaque. I hang up in my shop. I thought it was pretty good. I keep it out here. I should hang my hat on it. Oh, now we get Patrick Morrissey. Thank you for the super chat, Patrick. I hope there wasn't uh, something attached with that because it didn't show up. 
Oh, let's see. <laughs> we can have a meet and greet and do the timing belt. Do I have a store? I have an Amazon store, but I don't have like a store store, just a shop. Uh, let's see. What kind of beer do I drink? We've answered this a whole bunch of times. My normal beer drinking beer, just any old beer, is going to be a Yingling. I do like my IPAs, but just plain old, plain old beer, Yingling. No beer for me. You more into the hard liquor. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, let's see. You got $80 for labor for that resonator. Oh, getting the ice cream business. I'm not allowed to get a Taylor ice cream machine. I really wish I could. That's a dream of mine. Hire the machinist. Um, Jenny Cream Ale. They still sell that stuff here. Oh, how's Frazier watching going? Good question, Mr. D. I'm on my, I started my first episode of the last series. Starts tonight. So we're on season 11, the final season, part one. And then I got to move on to a different show to watch. Yeah, that Cabo Wabo, that's my favorite tequila, man. Oh, did I just say that? No. Huh? Oh, what's that? That's the guy that sent the super chat. Oh, okay. I was going to say let Hannah hold the 20 until the time about's done. And then Hannah will give you the 20 back. <laughs> All right. I'll put that on your list. Man, you're a real nice old Well, press the button. There We're go. good. Yeah, whatever you do, just don't hit the stop broadcast. You I need. pressed the play button thingy oh, down. Okay. Oh, down here you did? Yeah. Oh, yeah, make sure you stop it. It sucks up the internet. Yeah, cobble wobble, baby. That's some... Whoops. Whoa. Oh, no. okay, yeah, we're good. You press that play button. Oh. Oh, that one. Yeah, he totally screwed it up now. There you go. Fixed. 20 beans. Oh, we got 740. You got about 20 minutes. You got to hang out to the end. I can. You make me stand the whole time. I'll get right out of here. Sure. I could do my work. I've got all my books and crap oh, with yeah. me. Let's have a live stream watching Hannah do homework. 1,603 folks. Uh, where are we at here? Oh, man. Please, guys, don't start sending Super Chats. So I'll give you, I'll clue you in a little bit on Super Chats. Much appreciated. Love them. Google swipes some off the top. Just FYI, so you know a ten is not a ten. I don't remember the percentages, so just be aware of that. Just FYI, but we do appreciate it. Don't want to sound unappreciative. Notice me. We noticed. Yeah, you gotta watch. Some of them are troll accounts. Oh yeah, see Justin Cooper, twenty-four year machinist, hands on, no college. Hardcore machinist. Yeah. The real deal. Probably got tattoos and veins sticking mm -hmm. out of his arms. I don't know if that's what machinists look like. I wish I knew how to do machinist type work. I'm not gonna lie. I ever get paid in ice cream? I actually I have. I I have swapped um what are the gift certificates for the ice cream store for work. You know my toolbox better than me? I can organize it better than you. Yeah, that's true. I was pretty happy one day when you organized it. I need a seat, man. Talk to people, man. Don't leave them hanging. I'll leave them all quiet. Don't leave them hanging. There's no good questions. What am I supposed to talk about? What's that? There's no questions. Move over. Uh, let's see. Is Eric a master mechanic? Nope. Not even close. Not even close. Let me see what he says. Oh, Hannah. I love you so much. Love your little machinist. 
Do you want that? Uh, how old Hannah? We have 30, 39, Four, 41, somewhere yeah. in there. I don't remember. Is that right? Uh, what time is it here? Time to spin the wheels of mythicality. 744. Uh, they said that I fix everything that comes in, so it makes me a master mechanic. I don't think that's what qualifies as a master mechanic. You didn't fix my car. It's fixed. Get out of here. Okay, I'll get out of here. Oh, Wyatt, when I, Wyatt, what I tell you? Thank you, Wyatt. Your resonator is now completely paid for. Just if I... <laughs> Let's see. Do you... <clears throat> What's on for tomorrow? Uh, I've got a Honda CRV over on the other side. I feel like I'm looking down a lot. Honda CRV on the other side that came in. I thought the engine was seized up in it because they towed it here and you hit the key and it goes whoop, and that's it. And then the lights get real dim and then they brighten back up and you hit the key again. Same thing. Needless to say, it just had a seized up alternator. So it wouldn't allow the engine to crank over. Uh, pretty impressive belt tensioning on those Hondus. So I got to put an alternator on that. I have the Chevy Colorado from exactly two years ago. To the date the one that we did the time chains on in the video it came back but it's not a problem with the time chains the radio doesn't work it needs an inspection and something else engine light was on not for the time and chains though so that's good she put about 20 20 some thousand 25 thousand miles on it since it's been gone for a couple years so i'm happy with that now what else we got I don't know. That's just the two I got left over. I got a Ford Focus. No. Focus. Is it Focus? Focus. ZX something. Supposedly the back end of it gets all squirrely when you're hitting bumps. I don't know what else is out there. There's stuff out there. Plus whatever else is coming in on top of that. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Oh, hey, there's a guy that, let's see, where was he? Whoa, hang on. Ah, crap. I don't know what I'm doing. I seen the one feller that sent us the mail call that we did in the beginning of the video. Hopefully you saw it. Where was I? It was Rusty. Ah, oh, crap. Biscuit. I can't find it. It was Rusty. Who sent us a mail call in the beginning of the video. I don't believe that you were here for that, Miss Hannah. No. Nope. I did get a tad emotional. Uh, so, Rusty, if you didn't see our video in the beginning, I did open your letter live online received your gifts which i appreciate we had a little chat about that so uh, thank you for that Let's see what we got over there. the message didn't make it the money's for hannah <laughs> <laughs> oh he said he's gonna come help with crowd control during the uh -huh. meetup so yep so thanks Wyatt for Hannah's sake. Thanks, Wyatt. You're going to have plenty of gas to get home. I need gas. <laughs> Bowed out. And I'll, let's see. Shoot the donuts. We could. Hey, Eric, what's your favorite engine oil? I run all mobile products, Vito. Never had an issue. So that's what I do. I usually run all mobile one in my vehicles. Have I had a lot of Ford Focuses with drop valve seats? I can't say that I have. I've done my uh, share of heads on them, but I wouldn't say an extreme amount. Henry says we rock. Charles Miller, I know that guy, funny guy, super funny guy. He wants to know if you learned much while working at SMA. Hannah, did you learn much about cars while working with Eric? Hmm. Me too. True. How many girls your age could I say, oh, go give me a 90 degree die grinder and a two inch brown cookie and pair of side cutters and, you know, my 45 mm -hmm. degree long Python players. And, and how many engines did I do? Yeah, exactly. You probably, you probably changed more engines and transmissions than some of these dudes. Just so, well, I'm just saying, I'm not disrespecting the dudes. I'm just saying. Before you even hit 18 years old. Mm -hmm. Bam. So. 
So you must have learned something, right? I guess. Exactly. Oh, uh, let's see. I need a job. Are you hiring? I'm not, Adam. I'm sorry. What's your dream car, Hannah? I don't have a dream car. She said Toyota Tundra. She whispered it to me. <laughs> do I stack flat rate or cut second one in half? I don't stack anything. I do build by the job. I'll build flat rate if the car is like super crusty. You know, you may add flat rate. You know, say if it's a two hour book time flat rate job, you may change it two and a half just to cover my bacon on rust and corrosion. Depends on the job, but I do build by the job. It's thunder time. <laughs> I did that in a video. We give her some whole beans. A <laughs> dream car, one that works. Mm -hmm. <laughs> True story. Uh, let's see. These dudes are good dudes, dude. I did have a viewer in today, Matt Taylor. He's probably going to be watching this later because I don't think he's going to watch it when he drives home. He came and hung out. We went to a training seminar last night put on by Napper. It was a Subaru training class. Totally sucked. Uh, we went to that. And then he, he went to stay with some friends and then came back to SMA today. And we diagnosed some stuff. Hung out for a little while. Cool dude. Oh, and he's like a master pianist. He plays like some pretty hardcore piano stuff. Not the old Napper. That's right. Uh, what's Hannah's favorite SMA story? I don't do you even have a favorite SMA story. I don't think we ever mm -hmm. did anything like super epic. I don't think so. Mm -mm. <laughs> the fuel efficient 5.7 in the Tundra. Yeah, sometimes the Tundra will actually get double digits in the fuel economy. Wow. Part. Yeah, I'm talking. We're going to go from 9.8 to like 11.2. There you go. Yep, some days. Uh, let's see. Yeah, you got to make sure you do the finger movements when you say pianist because it could really sound like you're saying something else. If you're just like pianist, people are like, what did he just say? You know what I'm saying? Mm, yeah. SMA sweater. We don't have any SMA sweaters. I could probably knit you one. 11.2 is good enough. No, honestly, JB, the old Tundra will do... I'm going, I'm going to bluff it. 16.5 in the summertime, going 65, baby in that throttle. Typically 11.2, 12.4, somewhere in there. But I drive like a complete idiot, so it's, you know, understood, I guess. Oh, what are we missing? I'm missing some stuff. Oh man, naughty people words. are getting blocked because they're saying naughty words and naughty things. Naughty things. Sixteen point two downhill only. That's right. Is there an SMA dog? Yeah, Shuba and Chloe. Can't forget about <laughs> Chloe. Little, yeah, you little, can't forget about her. A little redheaded dog, if you know what I mean. They got more husky puppies. I saw somewhere around here. You're another really? husky puppy. Oh, puppy. don't even show me a husky puppy because I'll. A bunch of them. They don't even show me. I'll be living outside with a husky. <laughs> Is Hannah family? You have a family, right? Yeah. I have so a your family. family. <laughs> Duh! Everybody has a mom. Oh, Pearl. Yeah, they're talking about old Pearl. She's still going good. She's a little chunky, a little slow, barks a lot, but. But um, we do not have E85 in our area. Let's see. No, nope, Vanessa's not in Canada anymore. She did survive the Ikea. She went to the Ikea. I thought I had a note here. I thought there was another mail call where somebody was mentioning Ikea. I missed. I missed a letter. I did. Something got happened. Something got happened. Did you get these oh. ones you got? No, there was one more letter. So we're going to finish this on a... I knew there was something about Ikea. I knew it, man. What did I, so I got that one. I got all messed up. I started thinking about something and almost had a breakdown. Um, here we go. We have one more letter, and then we're going to end this SMA live stream because we're coming up on the golden hour. 
I don't know if that means the end of the show, but that's what we're going to use for that. This note. Or are they saying something funny? Yeah. Handwritten on lined paper, then ripped from the binder. binder binding. Even though it is perforated, I would have ripped it out like that too, because who's going to take the time to fold this? And <laughs> done. Uh, I really wish I could do a Casey case on and he writes. That's the only thing I can do. Uh, hi, Eric. Bill B. from Minneapolis, Minnesota. Is that Minnesota? Mm -hmm. Okay. A 70-year-old retired copy tech and DIYer known as Mr. Fix-It. Just a YouTuber with some opinions. Opinions are just like a-holes. Everybody has one. LOL. I really like your channel. I give you a thumbs up on all videos capitalized i have this three foot by two foot banner with sma on it i was going to send it to you but i think you like smaller swag a guy had this tire with a gash from a sharp stone first one i've seen oh so he's talking about a post i put up on facebook where a tire got stoned with an ancient indian arrowhead or at least what looked like an arrowhead it probably wasn't but it looked like one but the best was a friend. A friend picked up. Oh, okay. A friend picked up a bungee cord, and before she stopped, it trashed the side of her new car. Oh, what was that noise? Ouch! So that sucks. Imagine getting a bungee cord in your tire. And you hit your car. Uh, number one, you're not racist. You're a realist. Is that good? We'll assume he's being nice. Cause I keep it real. So that's what a realist does. Yeah. Boom. Um, every hill has a valley. Can't believe that one. <laughs> I live 26 miles from Ikea in the MOA mall of America. Not for me. What is garage keepers insurance? Is it a user tax? No, it's an insurance that the garage owners should have here. It's a type of liability insurance that we have to have maintain. As a garage owner, some shops don't. It's important to know that the shop you go to is fully insured. And for how much? Because you can have insurance that doesn't cover squat. Uh, you're overqualified to work in a job shop and you would be bored. Love to see the day in the shop part three. Ever heard of Corrosion X? Better than 50-50 mix of the trans stuff. Honestly, great stuff. I watch others like Keith D. Keith from New Level Audio. He is very talented, but 10 laptops? Wow. I think he probably has more than 10 laptops. But anyhow, super talented. That's an understatement. Also, Ivan is very good. Also, another understatement. They're both brilliant. Eric the Car Guy is okay, too. Been around a while. Brian's Mobile One has too much silly comments about unrelated stuff, but a nice guy. So at least he came back with that. They're all nice guys. Eric the Car Guy, Brian's Mobile One, nice guys. I will not watch R and R. R and R. Maybe that's Ratchet and Wrenches. I wouldn't think so. He's a nice guy. After his comment about Trump, just dumb. You're the best. Love your rants. I watch you because. You're a no-nonsense type who knows who you are and don't try to act phony. That's because I'm a realist. There you go. Not a phonist. Love your format and lighting. Format. Love the 9 millimeter format. <laughs> See you on the next one. Ivan, I think. Love Sheba too. If you can do it, others fail. Well, that's not very that's encouraging. Not right. Love Bill. He didn't say love, Bill. I added that part for the drama. Well, thank you, Bill. I almost forgot your letter. I'm glad I didn't. So that was nice of him. That's good. Man, I don't want to miss the mail call. So if I send you mail? I'll read it online. You read it online? Yeah. Heck yeah. I proofread it, though, so it's not like, you mother effer, loser, dirtbag. I'd still read that one, then I'd give everybody the person's address. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be funny. But it is that time, folks. It is 7.59, less than one minute to go. 
apparently there's a Super Bowl that people need to watch anyway. So go watch that Super it's Bowl. On uh, this coming Sunday, that is. It's not on right now. So if you're looking for it, I'm not a phonist. <laughs> Again, folks, I do appreciate each and every one of you, which I told myself that I was going to say, because I got scolded by a viewer for being unappreciative, like I mentioned in the beginning, I am appreciative. Uh, we thank you for the super chats that helps Hannah out, and now I'm going to have to pay her, of course. Hope you kept track. What was it? Like? I'll come here every Wednesday. 20 bucks or something. It was like 20 bucks, I think. By the mm -hmm. time, because I, I have a processing fee, the whole deal, it gets kind of technical. We'll make sure she gets paid, all that stuff. And thank you guys for watching. Donations, super chats, thumbs ups, likes, comments, subscriptions. If you haven't subscribed, go down there, click that bell, do everything you do. Find us on Patreon. And just remember, viewers, if I can do it, you can do it. Thanks for watching. I'll find the stop button.